Previously on Mad Men. Let's get out of here. No. Then lock the door. <sighs> what time is it? Oh, shut up. You want it so bad. I don't want you. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that. Please. This is a process. I just want to be a part of this place. I think it's on the way up. You got the job? The don't say. I can't stay that long. I have to go back and redo the Heinz bitch. I'll buy one for you, and I'll say a brooker. How about tonight we go see that stupid movie about the guy being hunted in Africa, the naked prey? Uh, I, I don't know, Abe. It was just a chance to see corn out wild naked. I already wrestles a boa constrictor. It sounds pretty dirty. I can't think beyond my presentation. There's always special circumstances. is not true. I've been working on Heinz for months. You know what you want? You want to take me to work with you and stick me in a drawer and open it whenever you get bored. Fine. You don't want to see each other anymore? Jesus! You always want to push the button on the whole thing. Come all the way up here to make love. Half the time you don't want to, and then you just do it. Get it over with. It's just hard when I come right from work. I need a second when I walk in the door. You sound like my dad. Fine. We'll go to the movies. I just can't promise that my mind won't be elsewhere. Your mind is always elsewhere. Why are you doing this right now? Most men wouldn't even have this conversation. They'd just leave. And why would they do that? I'm your boyfriend. Not a focus group. Have a shitty day. I don't know. Can't you make it till Friday? Because today is not a good day. This conversation went in a circle and we're back where we started. The answer is no. Yeah, me too. I just had the same conversation. No, I think they were different because yours was private. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. There's no place to pee in this city. She just got here. Why are you giving me a hard time? We had the funniest thing outside our building. A bunch of students with backpacks asked us how to get to Broadway. <laughs> What's so funny about that, Jethro? Like the campaign. Could have cast it right there and then. Mm. Megan, can I have a moment? Oh, uh, sure. She goes to casting now. I guess so. She's kind of in my junior on this. I was buying dinner last night for this large-breasted girl who calls herself Salome, and she's looking at the menu, ridiculing this Grandma Moses drawing, and she's balls up funny. But I ignore her because all I can think of is I'll never be able to draw as well as a photograph. Oh, thank God. I couldn't take one more omen of doom. I'm sorry, we're gonna have to miss the presentation. We're gonna have to head upstate for Howard Johnson's. Really? You're running the show. How does me sitting there change anything? Howard Johnson's, huh? I love the colors, the atmosphere, the clams. She's never been to one. I'm really sorry. No, we have all your work, I guess. I'll check in from the road. Stop. Um, break a leg. Well, that's a disaster. Don't listen to him. That's a vote of confidence. Give me one of those. The fire is primal. These kids, they all come there alone, and gathered in a circle, they suddenly feel included. They're safe from whatever is out there in the night and the darkness. It's the beans that brought them together on that cool night at the end of the summer. Home is where the Heinz is. I wish someone was eating beans. That guy is. I did ask for college students. I know that, Raymond. And we want you to have everything you asked for. Well, stop writing down what I asked for and try to figure out what I want. Raymond, I saw you when she was talking. You were off somewhere. It's very sentimental. I have that memory. That's for me. That's not for kids. Kids have memories. <laughs> and so do the homemakers who... Make a home with Heinz. Raymond, can you see how passionate she is? Photography will really capture the fun on their faces and the glow. Did Don sign off on this? Don loves this work. Maybe Don doesn't understand what you wanted either. Let's not speak for Don. I'm sorry. I'm not a word person like you people. Sure you are. And your words are always, I don't like it. And I think you're right. We don't understand you. Because you do like it. 
I think you just like fighting. Peggy, you're being oversensitive. Do you know how often people come in here and look at work and feel something? Almost never. You have to run with this. It's young and it's beautiful. And no one else is going to figure out how to say that about beans. Can you believe this girl? I don't know. Can you? Miss, you're lucky that I have a daughter. I wouldn't be so understanding. Raymond, they're frustrated, but they're not through. I'm frustrated, too. It's close, I guess. It's damn close. Why don't just you and I have dinner tonight? Maybe taking a show? Take your mind off things? You can try. I gotta admire you. That was a completely suicidal move. Women usually want to please. Give me sketches of the talking beans. I'll write new dialogue. You're off the business. What'd he say? He said you're off the business. Everyone has somewhere to go today. I'm going to the movies. Very good. One of them gave Sam a first class scratch. I'll better go tempered at it. Neither you and you're hungry. I don't suppose you fed them. No, I can't say I have. You didn't pack an advance note for me before I left. You didn't ask me. <laughs> Come on, darling. It's never mind. We'll feed you. We'll meet you. I'm gonna help you. Know me? Yeah, so. okay. Sure, at the house. Success, was it? Hi. But why don't they? At least two days since they've eaten, they'll just die. Yes, I know. Must take a form. We haven't hit on it yet. We'll just have to try again. Right. Back to the drawing board. Formula 13. Oh, George, I've just been thinking about the Cod River Royal. Do you suppose it's. She's not going to make it out there on her own. Shh. You've got to keep it down. <laughs> Okay. Aren't you worried? It'll turn out all right. That evening, he suffered all the agony of parents whose teenage daughter is out on her first date. No. Watch the movie. We return the next day, only to find Elsa minus both the young lion and her food. I told you a dozen sometimes I was coming in. And I said, no, you're not coming in. Because you don't want I should see you. You see me at home, for Christ's sake. You stare at me when I'm sleeping. Uh, I don't want to see you anyway. I just want to use the photocopy. For what? I'm building my case. Again? Who's this? I'm Peggy Olsen. I work with Ginsburg. Well, I'm the original. OK. <clears throat> it's bedtime. Mr. Draper's on the phone. I'll take it in here. You can go. Good night. Hello? Don didn't get any calls. Did you get any calls? About what? Has anyone called you? I don't think so. Oh. Okay. Listen, it didn't go well. I gotta go. I take full responsibility. Hello? Why didn't you tell me you had a family? Your father's nice. He's not my real father. 
people don't understand. Are you adopted? Actually, I'm from Mars. <laughs> it's fine if you don't believe me, but that's where I'm from. I'm a full-blooded Martian. <laughs> don't worry, there's no plot to take over Earth. You're just displaced. Okay. I can tell you don't believe me. That's okay. We're a big secret. They even tried to hide it from me. That man, my father, told me a story. I was born in a concentration camp, but you know that's impossible. And I never met my mother because she supposedly died there. That's convenient. Next thing I know, Morris there finds me in a Swedish orphanage. I was five. I remember it. That's incredible. Yeah. And then I got this one communication. A simple order. Stay where you are. Are there others like you? I don't know. I haven't been able to find any. told me the strangest thing at work today. Yeah. He said he was born in a concentration camp. But that's impossible, right? It happened. Come up here. Okay. Hurry. I'm going to go in there and sit down with the door closed. And I want you to buzz me when he comes in. One buzz for Don, two buzzes for Mr. and Mrs. Who died? Let's play hooky. Should I close the door? Remember when we used to represent double-sided aluminum? I remember twins and a hospital. Not that part. Bob Hoosett's moved over to Howard Johnson's to help them with their new models. So. How about a completely debauched and unnecessary fact-finding boondoggle to the flagship in Plattsburgh, New York? Just an hour from scenic Lake Placid. Are you kidding me? Did you ever hear the one about the farmer's daughter? This is where it all takes place. No. Don, come on. Alone, I'm an escape bee from some expensive mental institution. The two of us were a couple of rich, handsome perverts. I love Howard Johnson. We'll, we'll try and stop by. I think Montreal's an hour away. Look, the whole point of going is to forget about her. I mean, I'm supposed to have dinner with Jane's snooty friends. Sit around talking about Frank Lloyd Rice. I always say it that way. They hate it. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take Megan. Really? You can bring Jane. Megan gets along with everyone. He's very funny. Forget it. Newlyweds. I'll give Dawn the guy's name. Dawn, I need you to get me out of everything through the weekend. That was a dumb idea. Sure. You're not gonna say anything? What? I said you look nice and I said I don't want to do this. Well, what do you want to do? Go home, open your vest and yell at the TV for the next 20 years? Go ahead. God, okay, I'm sorry. I don't know these people. I do. And it's not about them. It's very important to me. I don't know how many ways to say it. Just born something more comfortable. You really do look great. It's the study of the ways that things are true or false. Some things are possibly true. Some are necessarily true. Some used to be true. Some will be true. Some are true in this planet, but not necessarily others. So there's no good and bad, because the truth is relative. Why, even if the truth is what you would call relative, good and bad are not relative. Your mistake is that you're assuming that because something is true, that it's good. Professor's got you there. <laughs> <laughs> I think the truth is good because it's always real. On any planet. Mm -hmm. I have patients who spend years reasoning out their motivation for a mistake. And when they find it out, they think they found the truth. They probably have. And then they go and make the same mistake. Like who? Catherine has been the psychiatrist to some celebrities. Wow. So they never get better. I didn't say that. I just said that it's a myth that tracing logic all the way down to the truth is a cure for neurosis or for anything else. Is there a cure for neurosis? Love works. 
I say we postpone this conversation until after we turn on. Shall we? Or after we turn in. Jane, honey, you ready? What do you think you're doing? I took your college course. I say it's time to hit the sack. No. We're gonna do this. Do what? I told you we're going to take LSD with them. You were supposed to clear your schedule. LSD? Really? You really are never listening, are you? Uh, how long does it last? Please. I don't want to do this alone. It'll be good for us. Okay. Just copy what they're doing. I think we are going to go. Oh, no. We had a lovely time. <laughs> No one has to say. All I'll say is that I have taken it now four times, and every experience was more beautiful than the last. And I'm not going to take it. I'll be here to guide you. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little nervous. This is an experience of self-fulfilling prophecy. You have to enter into it with a spirit of optimism. It's like a boat trip. You know, cast off thinking about sinking. And this boat is perfect, and the water is calm. No, you hold on to that. Go ahead. Just... Let it melt on your tongue. You always say I never take you anywhere. <clears throat> well, Dr. Leary, I find your product boring. can make reality and only what's real can become a dream and only from a dream can you wake to the light okie dokie he's not making this up it's from the tibetan book of the damned or the dead my dear bardo thought all is a guide to dying oh my god look at my arm i don't want to die some party All absence is death, if we let ourselves know it. Weren't you the one who said we were supposed to think positive? Yes. I feel like that when Roger goes to work. The mere change is incremental and shallow. I'm sitting here listening to these people have a conversation. It has nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's incredible. I came looking for a place to Don't look in the mirror. Why didn't you tell me that? I did. I already looked. Look at me. Everything's okay. You are okay. Now go to your wife. Why? Because she wants to be alone in the truth with you. Just go already. Sox. 
Are you there? <laughs> no, but I'm there. <laughs> Look at the cars. Model T, Model T, Model A, Model T. <laughs> I can't see it. <laughs> What time is it? How could a few numbers contain all of time? I can feel your lips. I'm still here. I can see you. You're beautiful. I always say that. It's all you ever say. No, I know why your friends are so smart. Catherine's not my friend. She's my doctor. I knew that, but I didn't know it. Sometimes I think she knows me better than you do. Do I want to know? Probably not. Because it's over? She's just waiting for me to say it. And what does she think of me? She thinks I'm waiting for you to say it. But instead, you wrote me this poem tonight, didn't you? I knew we were going somewhere, and I didn't want it to be here. Oh, do you feel as relieved as I do? All I think about is having an affair. I see them everywhere. You never cheated on me? There was a kiss. I stopped it. And then I was mad at you that you didn't appreciate it, even though you didn't know about it. A younger man. No. Roger. It's always been real. And I won't even ask about you. I just know for a fact that you did not fall in love. So what was wrong again? You don't like me. I did. I really did. Is it morning? Yes. I'm sorry I always say it, but you are so beautiful. Last night was beautiful. It was, wasn't it? Where are you going? Out the door and into the elevator, I suppose. What about me? You can take your time, obviously. But I figured I'd just check into a hotel for a while. I don't want to displace you. What are you talking about? I imagined all this screaming and fighting and lawyers. And it's just so beautiful how we were able to be there together in the truth, like you wanted. Are you leaving me? No. We're leaving each other, just like you said. I didn't say that. You did. You said so many amazing things. You were speaking German. I don't know German. You were quoting your father. Must have been Yiddish. But I was on drugs. I obviously didn't mean any of it. So your psychiatrist didn't tell you that you knew this was over, but you were waiting for me to say it? I did say that. And it's good that you did, because we both knew it. No. I don't know. It's going to be very expensive. I know. tonight. Someone named Dale is going to give us the royal treatment. You like orange sherbet? I don't know. 
You never had it? You are in for a treat. Sounds great. Feeling okay? I'm just tired. So take a nap. Relax. When you wake up, you will feel like you're on vacation. You know what? Tell me more about what we're going to be doing in Howard Johnson so I can get some sleep. Pleased to meet you. It's my wife, Megan. Dale Vanderwart. A little more notice, I would have rolled out the orange carpet. <laughs> I've got your room all set for you. Actually, I'd like something to eat and something to drink. Sure. I'm going to bring you a sampling of everything. You like clams? I like everything. Solar taffy for Sally. Mm, what did you get for Jean? Sally will share and she'll make Bobby share. I was the youngest son. You can't forget about him. Trust me, you won't know the difference. Didn't make much of a dent. Anything to your liking? We had a little of everything. Should I bring some desserts? Yes. How about some pie? No, you know what? Just three scoops of orange sherbet and two spoons. The colors are bright and cheerful. The kids have candy. Full bar for mom and dad. Would you say it's a delightful destination? It's not a destination, it's on the way to someplace. It's true. It's a long car drive. Mom probably needs to use the restroom. Kids gotta look at the place, force them to stay. You like to work, but I can't like to work. You should have told me if it was so important to you. We didn't have to go. I never got the chance. It was in front of everyone. And it's embarrassing. I ruined the whole damn thing by pulling you off that crack team. I am on the team. Here we go. She's never tried it. You're kidding. Try it. <clears throat> No, sorry. It's not for everybody. It tastes like perfume to me. That's why we make 28 flavors. Can I get a scoop of chocolate? Really? I don't like it. There's no chance you're trying to embarrass me. You're right. I'm, I'm sorry. Mmm, mm, it's so delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm. Stop it. Mm. What's wrong with you? I'm sorry, maybe you could make up a little schedule so I'll know when I'm working and when I'm your wife. It gets so confusing. I know, I'm terrible. Making you eat ice cream. Why don't you call your mother and hurl a string of complaints at her in French like you always do? I'm always talking about you. The woman speaks English. Why don't you call your mother? Gone. Do not walk away from me. Get in the car. No, I'm talking to you. Okay. Don't get in the car. Go ahead. Do you care more what some truck stop waitress thinks than what I say? Get in the car. Eat ice cream. Leave work. Take off your dress. Yes, master. Don't you dare pull away. I'm talking to you. Just in here. Oh, she was. Where'd she go? I don't know. To the hotel? She was talking to those fellows over there. They all left. 
They went towards the parking lot together. I thought she was looking for you. checking the place out. I've got your room key. Do you want help with your bags? No. Did you get my wife key? No. Do you want another key? No. I, uh, no. Uh, I have some bad news. What? We closed the pool. Some kid had an accident. I swear it doesn't happen a lot. Me, sir. No, can I get some times? Oh, do you want to let you use the phone? That's okay, people, it's fine. It's none of my business. The couple's fighting here all the time. There's no reason to think the worst. She probably got a ride home with those kids. Hello? Don didn't get any calls. Did you get any calls? About what? Has anyone called you? I don't think so. Well. Okay. Listen, I gotta go. I want to call to say hello and, and want to know if, if Megan had called you. Has Megan called me tonight? No. No. Huh. Not that you still there. Well, I, I wanted to buy her some jewelry, and I remembered that she had an allergic reaction to metal, but I don't remember if it's silver or gold. Huh. Some people carry gold in the body, so let's do it. Well, good. What if I have jewelry? Is there something called alloy that she's Listen, Marie, if she does call... Don't ruin the surprise, okay? Of course. Of course not. Thank you. Okay. Au revoir. Are you okay? I'm sorry to do that to you, sir, but they don't let patrons sleep in the restaurant. No. No, of course not. What time is it? It's a quarter to two. Missing. She took off from here. When was this? Um, almost seven hours ago. Well, I'll be back and forth here all morning. I'll keep an eye out. Open the door. No. Open the damn door. I don't want to see you. Open the door or I'm going to kick it in. 
Leave me alone! Get out. I said I was sorry. I don't care. Where the hell were you? I stopped every 20 miles and called the apartment. Why didn't you answer the goddamn phone? Because you're a pig! You left me there! Where the hell were you? I thought you were dead. Six and a half hours on a bus. And then try getting a cab at Port Authority at five in the morning. Try getting anything but an offer. I thought you were dead. <laughs> you back. How's your trip? Great. Would you like some coffee? What's this? Oh, Mr. Cooper dropped those off this morning. Bert Cooper? Yes. He's in the conference room. Would you like me to get him? What the hell is this? A client left here unhappy yesterday because you have a little girl running everything. My department is fine. We just need more bodies, but Lane won't let us. You've been on love leave. It's amazing things are going as well as they are with as little as you are doing. It's not your business. This is my business. episode of AMC's Mad Men. I don't think anything's gonna make him like me. Too much Chinese, and we'll have to go up the cup size. Shut up. Well, I had a life-altering experience. What happened? Gosh. You two were actually working. We're like our slaves. Some things never change. Do you want to close the door? For more Mad Men video